Если у человека есть намерение, If a person has the intention or task of opposing a spontaneous egregore, a certain business structure, who does he need to influence, an egregore itself or its creator and owner? Is it possible to get backlash for this kind of magical influence? Can a spontaneous egregore provide protection for its creator, and if so, does it protect the creator personally, or does it protect the creator's business? In order to answer this question, I will ask my assistants to display the egregorial hierarchy scheme so that we can clearly see what we are actually talking about. So let's take a look. The level of spontaneous egregores is quite low and egregorial wars go on there all the time. It is a fairly common thing, not a surprise. The other thing is what kind of position you should take in this confrontation and who you need to influence. The victory will be on the side that is at one of the higher levels of the egregorial hierarchy. In this case, it may be the level of professional egregores, social and financial institutions, the level of government, the level of religion, and so on. Whoever is on the higher level will surely win. If this is not your case, then you must gain the support of certain forces. Now let's talk about who should be influenced, the system itself, the certain business structure that is at the level of spontaneous egregore, or its creator and founder. Here you also need to ask the question what level they are at. And it is best to hit the one at the lowest level, because he is more vulnerable. If you want to confront a business structure, look at what level it is at. However, a business structure can have a certain kind of protection. For example, suppose the business structure itself is at the level of spontaneous egregore. It has the founder who is at the level of kin and family with his consciousness, but this founder was lucky enough to recruit a large number of professionals who are supported by their professional egregore. In this case, the system itself, the business structure in question, is at a higher level than its founder. So if you hit the founder, yes, it will cause problems for his business, but the business structure itself will survive. But you also need to know the history of that organization. For example, if the founder did not create it, but bought it, then it turns out that this organization is not his, he did not put anything into the core of this egregore, and he can be taken out of the game. In general, the organization itself will remain, as it was without him, but the structure itself will have no problems. That is, you must identify your motive, determine which of the two bothers you more, the business structure that is your competitive environment, or the founder who has offended you personally, and direct your influence to the one that affects your interests. Understandably, you want to hit where it hurts the most, but you have to measure your possibilities. Next, if the business structure itself is in a vulnerable position, and you realize that then, it is better to influence the business structure, but only if you are at a higher level, at the level of professional egregores, or at the level of government. So define your position and define the position of your opponent. And now about a backlash. The answer is the same. Determine exactly what level you are at. In order to avoid the consequences for this kind of magical influence, you must be at a higher level. Because if you are at a lower level, you will definitely face a backlash.
because the lower has no right to hit the higher. In the egregorial hierarchy, it is a very strict requirement. Some warring parties who use witchcraft or summon forces, either by inviting a specialist or by practicing on their own, do not forget for a single minute about methods to ward off any influences. The principle of their work is that a person receives a backlash, but he is no longer present in that place. The impact falls on some of his representations. For this purpose, experienced magicians can make a voodoo doll, a phantom that is endowed with a germinal mind. A phantom gets a backlash, after which it is destroyed. Everyone is happy, everyone is free, and the problem goes away. Sometimes magicians transfer a backlash into trees, animals, or their worst enemies. But these are specific rituals that one must not only know, but also have the right to perform. You will not make mistakes and will avoid severe consequences for your actions if you remember that you must have the right to any counteraction. If you are offended, you only have the right to respond if it's either an equal or you are above the offender on the social ladder or the egregorial hierarchy, because if you are at a lower level, you have no right to respond. Otherwise, you would be hit back three times, 40 times harder, or maybe even more.